I want to go over this before I get to my main point. So we are going to talk about sowing seeds. And no, we are not talking about farming. What does sowing seeds mean in the Bible? It is not actually talking about planting or farming. What is it talking about then? What does sowing seeds mean? Main idea, sowing seeds. Sowing seeds mean, or what it is, it is what you do, what you say, and your thoughts. So when the Bible is talking about sowing seeds, many of the time it is talking about what you are doing, what you are saying, and your thoughts. Either for yourself, doing things for yourself, or for other people, what you are saying about yourself or for other people, what you are thinking about yourself or situations or for other people. Now we know what sowing seeds mean. So we all can either sow good seeds or bad seeds. What are you doing when you are sowing good seeds? As you can see here, you know what sowing seeds mean. It is what you do, what you say, and your thoughts. So, when you are sowing good seeds. So, what is sowing good seeds? Okay, doing good deeds for yourself and or people. Saying good things about yourself and or for people. Oops. Thinking good things about yourself and or for people. So this is sowing good seeds. Okay. This can also mean ministering the word of God to people, helping people to serve God. So you know what sowing good seeds mean. As you can see here, what is sowing seeds? It is what you do, what you say, and your thoughts. So when the Bible is talking about sowing seeds, it is talking about what you are doing, what you are saying, and your thoughts. Then I went to what is sowing good seeds? Doing good deeds for yourself and or people, saying good things about yourself or for people, thinking good things about yourself, or for people and it can also mean ministering the Word of God to people helping people to serve God so this is what it means by sowing seeds not farming so get this in your mind okay sowing bad seeds so what does sowing bad seeds mean it is the opposite of good seeds right <laughs> Doing bad deeds for yourself or for people. Saying bad things about yourself or for people. Thinking bad things about yourself or for people. So we know what sowing seeds is and we know what sowing good or bad seeds is as well. Really simple. I hope so. <laughs> okay, now let's get to my point. Let's go to 2 Corinthians 9, 6 through 11. But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly. And he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. So what is that saying? I already told you what sowing seeds is. It is what you are doing what you are saying and what you are thinking. So take that into aspect. Okay, he was soweth sparingly, shall reap also sparingly. So many people believe that this is only talking about money, which it is not. This can mean what you are doing for yourself or for other people what you are saying about yourself or for other people. So doing, saying, 
and what you are thinking about yourself or for other people. So this is sowing seeds. So he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly. So for instance, let's say that the things that you do for people, you are not doing it that much. So you are, the deeds that you are doing are not that much. So you are not doing many things for people. So what does it mean by he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly? So when you don't do much for people, you are not going to get much back. And he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. So the more that you do for people, the more that you are going to get back. So this is not only talking about money. This is talking about good deeds, what you are saying to people. Are you saying kind words to people? Are you doing nice things for people? So on and so on. So the more that you do for people, the more that you are going to get back. For instance, let's say that every single day I go out and I give everyone I see a penny and let's say that I give like 200 people one penny every day so a person may say that hey you are doing <laughs> maybe that is a bad example let's say that everyone I see I say kind words to and let's say that I say kind words to at least for a wild example, let's say I say kind words to at least 200 people a day, which is something that many people don't do or even on average. Give me a second, please. Let's say that I say kind words to at least 200 people every day, which no one does, I don't think. <laughs> so a person can say, hey, you are doing much. So look at verse 6. He which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. So when you do much, much is going to come back to you. Does that make any sense? When you do little, little is going to come back to you. I really hope that makes sense. Okay, for instance, let's say that there is a poor person and this poor person is asking for some change or something like that. And you may have to pay your rent and you are having trouble with bills and stuff like that. So with our human mind, when we aren't able to take care of our bills and stuff like that, what our human mind says, hey, you can't give out money because you don't have enough money for yourself. Does that make any sense? But when we are speaking about the kingdom of God, heaven and stuff like that, the more that you give out, not only money, but good deeds, kind words, good thoughts and stuff like that, the more that we give out, the more that we get back in. I know there are some people who may have done good things for a very long time, so they expected God to repay them in money. God is not always going to give you back money when you give people money. Let me say this. God blesses us in many ways. Many, many, many ways. I'd rather have good health or get blessed by God with good health than 
a bucket full of money by far I rather have protection from God first or before how can I say this I rather get protection from God other than a bucket full of money so money is not the only thing that you need there are many more things that we need other than money does that make any sense so when you are doing kind things for people if God doesn't bless you with a bucket full of money don't get discouraged don't don't stop doing good things for people because God hasn't blessed you in the way that you think he should does that make any sense really take heed to this so the more that you do for people when it comes down to your thoughts your actions and your thinking the more that you are going to get back do you know that you can sin by thinking bad thoughts about people that can be a sin actually that is a sin thinking badly toward people or it really depends on what you are thinking about if you are thinking that hey this person is an idiot I hate this person that is a sin so in that aspect thinking sinful negative thoughts about people in that aspect like cursing them and stuff like that that is a sin so if it is a sin to think about negative certain negative thoughts about people you can also get blessed by thinking positive thoughts about people as well going back to six he was so with sparingly she'll reap also sparingly so whether it comes down to the category of your thoughts your actions and what you do your actions let's see your thoughts your actions and what you say about people and stuff like that <laughs> lost my train of thought <laughs> oh geez so the more that you do in those categories the more that you are going to get blessed by God so are so if you are lacking anything what you should do is do things for people think good thoughts about people stop thinking bad about people always <sighs> okay let's go to verse 7 every man according as he purposeth in his heart so let him give not grudgingly or of necessity for God loveth a cheerful giver this is not only talking about money your thoughts yes money ministering to people what you say to people so on and so on so it is everything like that okay so this is saying that God loves a cheerful giver so whatever you give to a person God loves that don't give anyone anything sinful like sex toys and dumb things like that okay number eight and God is able to make all grace abound toward you and ye always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work so let's look at the expanded Bible for verse 8 and God can give you more blessings than you need then you will always have plenty of everything enough to give to every good work so like I said before the more that you give the more that you get back not only money you don't only have to give money to people let me say this too: give things to people that you aren't using there are many things that we are not using why have it in your house if you are not using it I am not saying that you have to give away everything 
but give away things that you have no use of or things that you have many of. I really hope that makes sense. Because what is the sense of having it in your home like <laughs> you have about 10 Bibles or 20 Bibles in your home and you only use one. Why do you have so many Bibles in your home <laughs> if you are not using it? Give them away for free. Yes, let me say this too. I am not saying that it is a bad thing to sell things, but what I am saying, it is better to give things away for free. You don't have to sell things always. And from what this is saying, the more that you give, the more that you get back. So, man, I know that we are lacking some things and we have been praying for those things why not sow good seeds because as we can see here the more that we do for people the more that we are going to get back so the way that we can get more from god is by giving out more so the more you put out the more you get back i know that with our earthly mind it is going to tell us hey the more you get more or the best way to get more is when you save that is not true the way that you get more is by giving out more we are ruled by the rules of God not by the way we think not by the system mm, how can i say that we have to go by the way that god has made things and we reap whatever we sow that is the law that how that is the law of how everything is i can't think of any words <laughs> We all go by the law of reaping and sowing. Okay, where am I? Mm, give me a second, please. I believe I was at eight. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. I believe I went over that. Verse 9. As it is written, he hath dispersed abroad, he hath given to the poor, his righteousness remaineth forever. Let me read 10. Now he that ministereth seed to the sower, both minister bread. Actually, let me stop at eight. So I really hope you all understand this. The more that you give, the more that you get back. You reap whatever you sow. We are governed by that law, not by the way that we think. The way that we think may make sense, but when it comes down to God, what we think is not right unless it lines up with the word of God. I really hope that makes sense. 20 minutes almost. Jeez. <laughs> okay. God bless.